Stern's Tavern is one of two historic taverns remaining in the city of Worcester. It was built in 1812 and served as a tavern until the early 1920s. Previously located on Main Street, it was transferred to Park Ave in the 1970s and then to Coast Pond where we are now. This Stearns Tavern adds a unique element to this particular park or to parks anywhere in the city of Worcester. It's not only a historic structure that's been saved from the wrecking ball, but it's a structure that's going to serve as a training venue uh, for the young people who are part of Seven Hills Foundation's occupational training programs where kids with developmental disabilities get to learn job skills and they're going to run a small cafe here. Uh, so it's going to serve an important role for that community but also for the wider community because when people come here to the park they'll be able to buy a sandwich or an ice cream and create a sense of community and more experiences that you can have at this great park. We started this in 2016 and we needed to find a way to get this done with pretty limited budget. We approached a number of different people of which the Carpenters Union was one. As a result we probably had the Carpenters here about 11 weeks and probably over a hundred different trainees. They took everything on the interior and began to rehab it because we had moved the building, so it was a complete disarray, and they helped us put it back together. Community projects are a win-win for the apprentices and uh, for the community that's in, you know, involved as well. How old that building was and trying to add in, you know, you're trying to straighten out old walls to incorporate new ones you know, trying to keep that history alive as well. It certainly saves us money because uh, the folks are donating their time, uh, and that's a huge help because this really is a, a labor of love. Uh, we get the quality workmanship that the Carpenters Union are known for uh, that is going to keep us in good stead as we look to use this building uh, into its third century of use here in the city of Worcester. Uh, the city manager has asked us to create a, a sense of a museum in the building. So there's a couple of rooms here that are going to be recreated in period furniture and the community will be able to come in, have meetings in here. They can get some food out of the cafe or they can have it catered by the people from Seven Hills. It is well beyond I think what anybody thought would happen. I think this project is emblematic of the best a community can achieve. And we have so many groups that have come together uh, and are excited. And a lot of times projects don't have that enthusiasm. I've been at Preservation Worcester for 14 years and I can say in my experience, I've never seen such collaboration and community support. A profound thank you uh, on behalf of the city of Worcester. Uh, thank you to all the folks who've been part of this, the carpenters, the apprenticeship classes, the board that's allowed them to work here and stay here for such a long period of time. Kids at Seven Hills appreciate it, the people of Worcester appreciate it, and future generations who are going to get a chance to enjoy this great historic structure appreciate it.